What's up, metal and heavy music fans? These are my picks for the best and worst metal albums out this week. First up, we have Viljarta with Mestiden und Warten via Century Media Records. Viljarta is a Swedish progressive metal band responsible for evolving the gent sound into an even more detuned style that fans would lovingly describe as Thal. This is only the band's second full-length album, but also their first in 10 years, so I was interested to hear what a sophomore effort a decade in the making would sound like. The singles give us a pretty good idea of what the band is all about with their alternations of methodical down-tempo guitars and blasts of kind of ulcerate meets meshuga technicality. Many of the tracks follow in this same vein, joining thick, haunting atmosphere with chunky chugs. It's a cool effect, but one that you really need to enjoy given that the album is a whopping 80 minutes over 17 tracks. Honestly, for that reason, I'd almost be more likely to recommend this to Doom Metal listeners. I'm sure that the fans are going to eat this up, but for me personally, it's a bit slow and too much of the same to justify its length. Next up, we have Bound in Fear with Penance via Unique Leader Records. Bound in Fear is a UK deathcore band focused on slow, atmospheric, methodically pummeling grooves akin to the likes of Distant and Traitors. But where I found myself feeling a little unfulfilled with Distant's latest outing, something about Bound in Fear's particular approach really crowd kills me into oblivion in the best possible way. Featuring guest appearances from members of Ozaya, Molotov Solution, Alluvial, and Left to Suffer, tracks like Scar of Man and Null in particular are going to knock you on your ass. <laughs> And still others like I Still Dream of the End and Polarity ramp up the atmosphere a la Lorna Shore for more grandiose sounding moments. In the end, it may not be anything new, but this is one of those albums seemingly designed with the sole intent of stomping your big stupid face into the fucking curb. Then we have Reaping Asmodia with Darkened Infinity via Prosthetic Records. <laughs> Reaping Asmodia is a Minneapolis technical death metal band who really knocked my socks off with 2017's Impuritize, unleashing lightning speed riffing that still manages to be jam-packed with hooks like aborted on steroids. Riffs range from the genty technicality of Within the Ruins to more melodic stylings of the Black Dahlia murder. <laughs> Then there are others like the Mathy Simulcrow, which will basically twist your head off with its frequent jarring pace changes. And when also considering the more atmospheric interludes, another strong point of comparison would be Exocrine. All of this in a very focused 37 minute package. I will say that the album could use better drum production as it is very clicky, but other than that, I really think you're gonna dig it. Then we have Hate with Rugia via Metal Blade Records. <laughs> Y'all, I feel for this band, and I want them to succeed. I really do. They do a lot of things right, and the music is always super heavy. But once more, I just find myself thinking about all of the little missing elements that makes Behemoth a superior band. I hate to continue even bringing up the comparison, but from the vocals to the guitar riffs, there's just no denying it. Rugia is definitely worthy of a listen, but if you ask me, I really wish they'd just throw a complete curveball in at this point. Then there's Deviant Process with Nurture via Season of Mist. Deviant Process is a Quebec City technical and progressive death metal band recommended for fans of Obscura, Beyond Creation, and Gorguts. Violent snarls collide with blasts of distortion in a veritable cyclone of chaotic musicianship. Yet it all comes together perfectly thanks to both impressively dynamic songwriting and admirable focus on teamwork. <laughs> Sing 
Seriously, the way in which these guys play off of one another on these songs is nothing short of awe-inspiring. The term well-oiled machine gets thrown around a lot, sometimes even on my own channel, but it absolutely applies when it comes to deviant process. The guitars, the bass, the drumming, all in perfect and dizzying harmony. Ice Nine Kills is also out this week, but I have so much more to say about that one real soon. We have such sights to show you. Then there's Shavat with Galgenbrook via Voidwander and War Productions. <laughs> It's not too often that I recommend just some straight up black metal in these roundup lists, but this is one of those worthy exceptions. Shavat is a solo project very much in the vein of classic second wave albums like Enslaved's Frost. Raging, jangly tremolos and pummeling blast beats get seriously grim alongside icy cold synths that chill to the bone. The production perfectly captures that old 90s black metal charm, but without ever losing any of the performances in the process. Obviously, if you're a fan of the genre, there's nothing here that you haven't heard a thousand times before, but as far as getting that sound right... Nailed it! Technically, this album came out October 1st, but hey, I was busy, and why should that rob you of a killer album? And another one I'm gonna sneak on here from earlier in the month is Lou Kelly with Shriek. <laughs> We've previously covered Lou Kelly and his very Mike Patton-esque madness on albums like Junk City and the Vulgarian Philharmonic. This album feels like kind of a mashup of the two, combining the brassy blasts of jazz man instrumentation with more chaotic, nonsensical guest vocals. You could also probably draw some parallels to the Patton and Lombardo project, Phantomus. In any case, it's 14 tracks of pure, concentrated weirdness over just 28 minutes. I had been on the lookout for something on the more unique side this year, like Igor or Psy, and Shriek most definitely scratched that itch. And those are just a few of the albums I checked out from this week, but let me know down in the comments what other albums are you excited for and which one is your favorite, depending on when you're watching this. But that'll do it for now. Vlad Vickers signing off. I will see you in the trenches.